Hey everyone, uh, the following is not a review. It's probably just gonna become a rant. Um, so I tried to read MFA versus NYC. I couldn't. Um, I read the title essay, and then I sort of threw the book <laughs> at the wall, um, because I have never read anything that was so, so Americentric. Like, this is the world. It has the MFA programs and it has the New York City culture. And that's it. Like, no. I had so many issues just with the title essay that, like, I couldn't... I tried to kind of skim other essays here and I just couldn't. I just, like, honestly couldn't. So many issues with its presentation of how literature, literary culture should be. So many issues with its presentation of how literary academia should be and where writers fit into academia and how somehow writers are only supposed to be in literature. Like, you can't be a writer and a scientist. Um, I have issues with its presentation of literature itself, like the type of writing. I have issues with all of it. I think also as an essay it's really unclear, but that's a whole other whole other issue. Um, it's just, like, I thought I'd, I should read this because, you know, I'm involved in literary criticism and I'm supposed to be all, like, up on the business and I, I have read quite a bit of criticism about MFA programs and I sort of wanted to see a bit more about it and like no um any book that really kind of tries to justify itself like this is all just about oh well you know when you're in mfa programs and in different universities you can save money and in new york you waste lots of money versus arguments of well when you're in new york you're exposed to the culture like no no it's so many levels of no these are the sorts of books that perpetuate this idea of American literature is the only literature. And I want to throw this at someone. I also just like the title essay, Chad Harbuck's essay. It's, he like keeps writing things like, you know, oh, these, these, you know, white American males, these white males, as if like, he recognizes the problem and, you know, he's working to fix it while only discussing old white men. Like, you can't, it's not enlightened of you when you're just literally doing the thing that you're aware of. He's just, the whole essay is just, ah! So, I didn't read MFA versus NYC, and I'm not going to, and it's going to go back to the library before I smash it against the wall again and like if someone has read it and can enlighten me as to what I am missing please because I just I couldn't read this I I, I just couldn't um, so yeah <laughs>